Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave, right? So for today we expected that the upside is capped and we, we can look for a bearish trade. But what happened is once again, if you see continuously from last three days, one it's a gap up and down, gap up and down. Again today after gap up it came down and only after that it went up. But again, as I mentioned, this gap is not getting filled and still acting as a resistance and also mentioned that the upside may not be more and capped because of the data right so today it went till 22.475 approximate and again came down right and closed pretty much flat so just 34 points up on nifty and these candles were too small and too boring that I put a community post as well uh, just for funny sake so I just mentioned I'm going for eye checkup, can't see the candles because it's less than 10 points range for 15 minutes candles. It was getting too boring market. Now I actually didn't see the bank nifty chart just now I saw. So it was all the more boring. This is within 100 points or even lesser than that. So within less than 100 points range, it was complete day. I think close to 22 candles were less than 100 points on bank nifty, which is a an index of 50,000. So, terribly, it's a up chronology, right? So, basically, first they dropped the wicks suddenly uh, by 20%. So, that itself eroded a lot of option premiums. Today, they kept the market super silent. So, that further eroded option premiums, both for theta DK as well as the wicks uh, being very low, and IVs also will obviously be very low. So, purely, it seems that. It was pre decided to keep the market very silent, and I think probably retailers were there on both call side and put side uh, heavily. So, just to crush all the premiums, uh, market has been made to remain super silent. I just had one question to people who get super excited that finance minister has told the retailers are driving the market and things like that, right? So, if retailers were driving the market, retailers are super heavy heavily participating in options market as well right then why couldn't they move the market and kept it so silent so i don't agree that only retailers or i don't agree to the point that retailers have become much stronger than the big players right i still don't believe that institutions are still the important players although retailers bring in more money that's a well-known fact but um, it's mostly got to do with institutions unless they want to move it in either directions just by retailers i don't think so there would be any change as such okay so yeah again as i said the gap remains on nifty as well as uh, bank nifty as well this upside gap is still holding and also the daily charts if you see uh, bank nifty has formed an inside candle it's neither bullish nor bearish it's it's just a inside candle so breaking on either side will give some momentum on bank nifty right and let me zoom in it candles are not visible so after this quick up move uh, after hitting a key moving average and took a very good up move right after that if you see market has kind of gone up by 200 points or something like that but if you see all of these candles are red candles only so that momentum that was there that is not there and the conviction to take bullish trades is also not there so all of these are not convincingly bullish so it's better to avoid bullish trades, I feel. Uh, only after the gap uh, the gap is filled, uh, around 22,500, 505, that these levels are passed, then we can take a bullish trade. But as of now, I think it's better to avoid any bullish trades, right? So let's quickly analyze the data for tomorrow and discuss the remaining things. So index futures. One important point I'll be mentioning in the video, please do not skip. So index futures, it's flat for retailers and a little bit of longs added by pros and that is kind of shorted by FIA. So overall still nothing major changed here and huge negative by FIAs and uh, retailers are, are having lot of longs. So we will not consider this for tomorrow's analysis. On index calls, retailers have heavily, uh, it's not fresh call shots but it is the closure of call longs so it's a bullish sign FIS have increased call longs so bullish pros have reduced their call shots so that is also bullishness so all three are indicating bullishness 
uh, but on put side retailers have further added put shots so it's bearish fis have added put longs little bit only 10000 so it's bearish and pros have reduced their put shots so that is also indicating bearishness so if you observe from last 3 4 days this data is indicating one of the segment like either calls will indicate bullishness or puts will indicate the bullishness and the other segment will indicate the bearishness so today as well it's a mixed data so i will not be too surprised if tomorrow also it kind of is a boring day may not be very small candles but somewhere between 150 200 points range only is possible in nifty i think 150 points is uh, also too much right so from 22 400 if you take 150 points it is 20 to 250 to 20 to 550 it might be much smaller than that i don't even see uh, looking at things i don't see uh, even the vix has not increased much and data is not indicating is indicating a double sided uh, momentum right so again be ready for a boring day or within the range basically so avoid option buying for tomorrow's expiry especially is my opinion right and not only that tomorrow being the monthly expiry day as i always tell um, on monthly expiry day or calendar last day we can expect a gamma move after 3 pm so tomorrow there is a bit of chance after 3 pm stay very cautious and in case tomorrow the gamma move doesn't come then on april 30th we may expect a gamma move as well right so let me show you the key levels for tomorrow so on 15 minutes start yeah, so 22,473 to 22,506, the remaining gap basically, 503 or 506, this will still act as the resistance. Um, and on downside, 22,357 will be the first and key support. If that is broken, we may expect 22,280, 290 and kind of levels as well using the moving averages. So, yeah, key support 22,357, below that 50 to 80 points all is possible. And upside, this uh, gap will act as a resistance for bank nifty uh, first it should break 48 140 it is just 50 points below but still it has to break then we can expect 47 930 and 47 740 to be the supports and on upside as you see 48 230 and 48 480 will act as the key resistances right just to summarize the data is indicating a mixed view so even if the market goes down in the first half, it may reverse. Uh, that is a possibility, or it can just be a boring market within like a total of 200 points range, upside and downside, all put together within 200 points. Uh, it can just be a sideways day as well. Only if it breaks this 22,257, then only we'll see fast momentum on downside or 22,500 on upside. Otherwise, it's going to be a boring day. So stay away from options buying for tomorrow and uh, be ready for the gamma mode right so if you are finding this content helpful please do like share and comment thank you all have a good day